Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Cloudfall from Lily Moon. All right, this is a neat one. And if you follow regularly, oh, actually, no, there's two not too long ago that start the same way. All right, so this and you know what? I'm just going to do it opposite because I want to I want to start this direction and it doesn't matter. So with a giant continuing S shape, I've made mine kind of wide, which is, of course, fine, whatever way you want to do it. But yeah, nestled flux that we did a couple days ago prior to that sidewinder starts off with this same uh, stroke. All right, next. On the side that's away from the curve, and this, I'm, this for this one, I'm going to use the takeoff and land. Actually, you could probably do that for any of them. And I just, you know what? I wanted to double check. Yeah, it doesn't, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, here's what I was thinking. So we're going to take this. I'm going to continue it and into a spiral. And then over here, what I was looking at was, did because I, I thought I looked and then I didn't remember. Did she have it extend at all? But not really. It kind of goes in line with what is here already and I'm just thinking now I know why and again you can use the takeoff and land idea so that way you're tracing over a little bit of the existing line and then continue on okay so like that then <clears throat> Uh, going on the same side as your the spirals and actually you know I'm going to turn it so I can and why I want to do it that way um, so on the side of the spirals same idea take off and land works nice we're going to start from up here take off a little bit and we're going to land like in that crevice but you know we're going to trace over you know whatever your pen wants to trace over it will trace over and essentially we're going to do both sides, but because I want to use the natural curve of my hand, I'm going to do one side, which is um, actually quite silly because I didn't need to move it. Did I? No. <laughs> Just because this is the top and that's where I want, that's why I did it. Uh, like that. This one, that's a partial and actually, oh, we're not going to worry about the top. Okay. And from here, this is where I had to really zoom in. Um, and then looking at the sample, I'm kind of getting uh, a couple different ideas on, on the next step. And on my version of the step out, I was thinking it's easier to start this next step. So I, I just put start here. Uh, that's just my suggestion. Whatever works for you, works for you. But what we're going to do is on the spiral. And so this section here towards this edge, we're going to somewhat fill this in but so i'm going to start here same idea take off and land right and I do a curve line and of course you can you know and i actually let me look at i always like to go back and look i mean if you end up going if you want to bring it in further let me just say it that way. if you want to bring it in further you can of course you can do that it works but what we're going to do is just and kind of from from that same point well actually you no know, maybe i'll leave it like that what I noticed in Lily's step out was it seemed like this got filled in and sometimes it ends up happening, but I just say, don't worry about it. And then we're going to do it, you know, both sides, but let's, let's do it. I'm going to skip one just because, just for comfort. And then working to be careful so I don't get that little bump that I just did, you know, and you fill it in as much as you want. Okay. And so these, I'm just turning it a little bit. Oh, that's still not comfortable. I hate that when it's not comfortable. <laughs> All right, let's just do it so I can see it. Oh, and let's merge that a little bit better. Okay. Oops. Oops. Oh, wow. That, okay. I, I moved my hand up and... 
bang the camera. All right, and then this last one. There we go. Now maybe I can fit one more. <laughs> it just depends on what, you know, on, on what you want. It's, you know, of course, completely up to you. Now, the next step, if you have a thicker pen, like this graphic one, we're going to fill in all of this other section. Now, I say that also thinking, well, of course, if you wish to do something else, you can. I notice in um, Lily's sample, and again, that's in the um, the description section. So click below. And, you know, and I haven't mentioned this in some time. So if you're if you're well, if you're new to YouTube, it depends on what, if you're using the you know, like the app on a, a device or your desktop. I think on the desktop, uh, it usually gives you like the first line in the description, and then. You see that maybe it's like the three dots or like it'll say more or something. Um, or it just has a little, you know, little care, you know, um, a little V down arrow type of thing. And I, I, it seems like maybe it's on the app that I, it seems like I have to search for it when I want to, <laughs> when I want to find out more. Every once in a while someone will ask in the comment section and I try to remember every once in a great while to make mention, especially if I'm filling in. What's neat about this is it adds some uh, some great contrast to the tangle. And then too, uh, if you're a little sloppy, like sometimes with my lines, they go over the line that they're not supposed to. And then this fixes it. Woohoo! Love that. Okay. And then two, if you need to like adjust something and uh, you can, you know, so if it's something where, okay, like say, uh, oh, I just wanted this one to be a little bit thinner. Well, you could, you could, uh, expand the filled in area into where you need to, uh, adjust a little bit. All right. And let me finish that with the, a one and I'm noticing two and maybe I can, Maybe I can do it, although this is a lot of dark. Um, Lily has put some some white dots. How did she where did she put that? Um, oh, it was like, oh, oh, on this side. And so you could do things like that, or if you're I mean if you're if you're good <laughs> and can you know, you could put little uh, like I usually do when I add the shine and I'll put little openings. Uh, that I don't fill in, but otherwise, you know, you can come back. She had them uh, different sizes, which you could do. Sometimes the white, well, well, let's say this. If, if you treat your jelly roll properly, <laughs> if you're nice to it, look at how neat that looks. Just adding those little dots. Um, light touch. I mean, don't, don't treat it like the ballpoint pen that it looks like. If you push like, like that, it revolts on you and it says, I am not working under this kind of pressure. <laughs> so like I said, light touch, um, you know, sometimes it's good to, um, uh, you know, do a little swirling on something else just to make sure it's working and that it's juicy. Um, but light touch and slow. That's the two things that these pens like. All right. Just really neat. And let's see, did she add no, anything else? Of course, you can have as much fun with it as you wish. You know, adding adding other things. Um, let's, see, uh, let's see shading, though. Shading idea. Oh, it's just so small, but let's do this. Oh, actually, number one thing, 
could be right here and that could be enough let's just try there because I like to do where things gather right when I don't know it's like oh uh. oh yes and actually if you take that just the one yeah I'm making sure you know along whatever you know this edge where it's kind of connected to the spiral this one's not so long that one not really Ooh, that has a neat look and then could do this because sometimes personally I like let's just add some right there in the middle it makes it look puffy in my opinion Could do something to the outer and you know instead or depending on how big you do this i, I think that that works yep yep because then this could look like it's it's kind of going down in but it's your tangle to play with <laughs> super neat yes love it well love it but wait is there more could we, should we? Hmm. No, I think I'm going to just leave it that way. Because that's what it feels like. <laughs> Although it, it does seem like it needs something else, doesn't it? Let's do this. Because this is kind of jumping out at me a little bit more. And and what's fun is sometimes just do it like, like I just did a little bit of the middle. Well, let's just do a little bit of this outside and if you have a nice thin tortillon it helps and then two you can kind of uh, blend it into the the black and then you do you might if you did your dots ahead of time you might have to just redo them oh that gives it that 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 works that works for me okay so i hope you enjoyed this if you did, please click on the like button. If you liked enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, I mentioned the description section for links to the step outs. I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle, you know, or wherever I found it. And um, below that is my link tree link where you can find uh, links to my uh, just click on that and that has all of my links so to my website where you can follow my blog and look at classes um, my uh, Facebook page where you can follow me there and that way then you would get notices of you know when I post classes uh, and you can usually register right yeah you can register right from there um, and you know other fun stuff and if you happen to be on Facebook and want to hang out with a bunch of amazing tanglers. We'd love to hang out with you. So we have a private uh, Tangle Addicts community group. There are four questions that you need to answer in order to gain entry. And uh, and that's it. And then as, as soon as I see it and, and uh, you know, click the right button and then you're in like Flynn. All right. Um, what else is there? Uh, other ways to follow me for classes. Um, and just other fun stuff. So give it a look. And with that, thanks so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.